Considering LeBron's play last night, that awful game three, out of character for him, are you buying that excuse that he was tired, potentially sick? Not a, well, I'm not buying an excuse that he was tired. If he's sick, he's sick. I'm certainly not going to question that. You can be sick. You can be fatigued. And if you're alluding to him being tired because he was sick, that's entirely different than you being tired because of so many much, much mileage on your body and the minutes that you're averaging. He averaged 37 and a half minutes this year. We understand that. Last year, he played in 21 NBA playoff postseason games. This year, at the most, he'd probably play in about 19 because he's at 12 now. And so, ultimately, when you consider the rest, you sweep go oh, the Indiana Pacers, you sweep the Toronto Raptors, you ultimately you find yourself in this series against Boston where you'll likely take them out in five games. The requisite amount of rest that he's had in this postseason, I think, spans in excess of 24 to 25 days. Considering that, I don't want to hear fatigue. No excuses. No excuses. I don't want to hear that. I'm trying. I'm trying people try to change the narrative. And, and, no, 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 no. No excuses. The man, I don't want to hear about fatigue. Not now. Not the way he takes care of his body. Not the physical specimen that he is. And more importantly, not the amount that's of work a, but he's had to put on his body during this postseason, which is nothing compared to what it's been in the past. That's an absurd position to take. Hold on a second. Oh, You're please. saying because last year he played in a lot of games, which means that this year he should be more That's fatigued not what I'm saying. because That's he's not, not what I'm only saying. a year older and your body starts to break down after a certain point, but also because no all it. those miles no because all those miles you put on your legs in the past actually add up and make it more difficult to do. That's a possible explanation. But if someone says, well, actually he had a bug. He was actually a little sick. That makes sense, too. It's not an excuse. It's an explanation. Well, I didn't say it didn't Anyone, make sense about him being sick. LeBron James was one of the fastest players in the NBA. And last night, he was one of the slowest players on the court. So he looked tired to me. Sick. Whether that's the, Whether it's because he was sick or because he has miles or a combination of both or some other reason, that's all fine. There is an explanation, but... There's a reason that he looked tired. He was something was affecting him physically, I have to believe. Sick is a good enough explanation for me. It doesn't help that you cite the stats. He played he's played in so many games through the years. That doesn't mean he should continue to be able to do that forever. It means eventually it's going to catch cite, up to I him. I can cite that. I can cite that when 4 days ago we weren't saying any such thing. It things. catches up. Well, off a long rest for you just 4 days. Off a long four rest. Days. They had a four week off. The Cavs with a week off. Oh. Oh, LeBron stop is it. excellent. As Y'all he plays more and more, it. he's a little ahead, less Will. excellent because he's God, old. God, please. That's well, ridiculous. I think you're doing a fine Let's job. Four I, days ago. I think you, I didn't Go feel ahead, the Will. need to jump in. I thought you were doing a commendable job. I'm not being uh, patronizing. I think this is an example of Max being uh, too smart for his own good. I mean, yeah, right, the minutes are there. LeBron is playing an incredible amount of minutes, by the way, in the playoffs. It's up from that 37. It's up above 40. But you can look at all that evidence, Max, and what are you using it to explain. You're using it to explain one bad game and then a half where he got into foul trouble. If he's slow last night, it's because he's indecisive, which, by the way, he is prone to be from time to time, outthinking the moment, outthinking what can be done. He was not, I don't think he, I have to set aside the sickness just like Stephen A. If Richard Jefferson says he's sick, then I got to consider the fact that he could have been sick. But some mileage buildup, some physically being tired and that therefore compromising his game, I think you're taking a miss you think it's ever going to happen? I think, well, yeah, but that's not the debate. But it's not going to happen now. In other words, it's going to happen at some point. You just dispute that it's happening now, potentially. Just because something can happen and perhaps even will happen in the perhaps future even. does not mean we've arrived at that moment. Maybe not. You, this is a hard lesson, seems to be, whether no, no. it comes to Tom but Brady or LeBron James. Well, it's a, it's just a, because it might doesn't no, mean no, no, it no. is. No, 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 not might. It will certainly happen to everybody. It's the law of entropy, Will. I mean, this is but how that's not. There's, age, there's an aging but process. The, law the world the law will entropy. 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 Systems tend to be breaking me, apart. Max entropy. Entropy. You really are so smart. Max, okay, just okay, because it will okay. rain someday doesn't mean it's raining right now. But if you but, come, but if someone, rain. but will, but will, if someone comes in and they're all wet and it's the middle of rainy Possibly season, you rain. might suspect it's raining outside. And thus we've arrived at our contention. LeBron's not all wet, man. He may have a little, a little something on little his damp, shoulder. A little damp.
Will they have one He's bad game? Yeah, right. And by the way, trouble. and by the way, it may not be fatigue as a result of Miles. My point is there needs to be an explanation for the fatigue because he was slow last night. The kind of shots he was missing was the result of fatigue. You want to tell me flu bug or whatever? Okay, that's good enough. But it, he looked tired. He scored 15 in the fourth quarter. 30 for the 10th time this playoffs. Yes. I, I agree. He was excellent, actually, when all said and done. And when all said and done, so the end of the game. So he's doing something. Seven straight games at 30-plus, okay? He's flat-out <laughs> balling. You're four days removed from talking about his greatness yep. and how it compares to his airness and all of this other stuff. And over the course of two games, he's your old. explanation is that no, you see him. He looked, he's he looked, he looked no, old. I said I going mean, into the, the game. the caught up to him, Max. That's Ma what you wanted to let, do? Let me just, remind, let me just remind you what we Please. said going into this game. We said we both expected LeBron to have a huge game. I said if he didn't, we are going to have to ask why. Is it fatigue? Is it a miles buildup? Is it a flu bug or something like that? Sure, okay, but we are going to ask why, and it will be related to fatigue exactly as I predicted. And by the way, as athletes get older, they need more time to recuperate. That's the trend. I mean, that's what happens, guys. I hate to be the one to break this to you. I'm surprised that you haven't noticed this trend throughout all of human history.